What's good guys, if you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 MT as well as NFL 20 Muck Coins, please go to dvdj.com, link will be in the description, use code BUGS for 10% off at checkout. What's good YouTube, it's your boy BUGS back with another NBA 2K20 My Team video, and today guys, we got moments of the week, number 3 predictions, and yo, this is my first prediction video. I got all the stats in my phone, and as per usual, guys, drop 20,000 MT in the comments for like the video, and some of you are new for a chance of winning 20,000 MT. Videos got hit 40 likes, bro. Our our likes have been fire. Comments have been fire. Ask me questions. You could just qualify by asking me questions. All that good stuff. Ask me questions, bro. Our channel has been popping. Thank you guys for all the support, bro. We've been running up the views. Thank you guys so much. But anyways, guys, moments of the week, number three. Who do I think is going to be the set winner? Honestly, it's Dame Dollar, bro. You know why? Okay, so I have the rankings on my phone from this week. Let's see. Hold up. Last seven days. All right, we got... So, one, two, three. It's Luka, Hart, and Giannis. Why do I not think that they are going to get it? Because, number one, um, we got LeBron, too. Le All right. So, those four players already have cards in the game. So, I do not believe that they will get it. That's the only reason why. So, let's get on to the next one. So, we got Clint Capella coming in. Right behind LeBron, um, he's had monster games this week. He's dropped 19, 16, 16, and 20, 10, and 13 this week. Monster games from the man, Clint Capella. Honestly, and they went, and the Rockets went undefeated today. He should be a top player. He's got to be in the moments packs, okay? I say he gets a Ruby card, maybe even Amethyst card. Honestly, an Amethyst card would not be useful in my opinion. Next up, Jimmy Butler has went off for the Miami Heat. Um, off. Off, off, off. So he went 34, 5, and 4, 22, 6, and 3, and 16, 7, and 4 this week. Had phenomenal games. They went 2 and 2 this week. And oh, he also went 18, 7, and 9. So he's been phenomenal. Jimmy Butler is a man. He's, he's great. He could get an Amethyst card. I could see a Jimmy Butler Amethyst card. We did see one last year. And honestly, Jimmy Butler is a solid player every year. He deserves an Amy card. Now, the set winner, in my opinion. It's got to be Mr. Dame Dollar dropping 60. He has been amazing. He dropped 39 this week, 22 and 60. Like, come on, dude. He deserves the Diamond Moments card. It's going to be a Diamond card. Lillard, in my opinion, is the number one player in the set. He's got to get a Diamond card. No doubt about it. They didn't drop Moments all week, so I guess they're going to just rock with the Moments of the week. I'm telling you right now. I'm feeling Jimmy Butler at me. Possibly a Clint Capella Ruby. And a Dame Dollar Diamond, bro. I'm telling you right now, baby. That is right now the methods. There's a lot of other cards. A lot of low keys that we're going to go over. So, we have one more Amethyst to cover. See, Drummond's doing good, but I do not think he's going to get a card. I don't think Drummond's going to get a card. They just dropped a Pink Diamond one. Malcolm Brogdon's still playing really good. We already got a Graham card. We already got a Brogdon card. We could see an Amethyst Vuce, very possible. Nikola Vucevic has been doing amazing as per usual. He dropped 19, 11, and 7. Then he dropped 23, 16, and 6. Then he dropped 18, 7, and 3 with two blocks. So he's been amazing. Um, he might see the Amethyst card. So those are the two Amethyst cards in the set. I'd say Butler and Vuce get the Amis. Lillard gets a diamond. The Ruby got Capella. And the next Ruby that I think will be possible is honestly Hassan Whiteside. Hassan Whiteside definitely deserves a Ruby. I think his card's only an Emerald this year. So he went 22 and 11, 17 and 19, and 10 and 15 this week. Great games from Hassan. Came, he, was, he got hurt for one game, came back strong, went off three games in a row. Definitely deserves a Ruby. So now two Rubies done, two Amis done. Now let's get to the Sapphires. These are the interesting ones. These are like usually... The upcoming dudes, Aaron Baines had another great week. He could get one, but he's probably not going to get one. He already got one. So, let's go over it. Sapphire number one. Did we get a Bam Abadayo car? Because this guy, in replace of Hassan Whiteside, has been absolutely amazing. Um, he went 15-10, and 11-9, 4 assists, 3 steals, a block. Not, and then yesterday, he went 15-10, 6 assists, 5 blocks. No, 5 steals and 1 block. And then he went 10 and 11, 3 assists with 2 blocks. His blocks are up there. Definitely deserves a freaking Sapphire card, honestly, in my opinion. Next up, Montrez Harrell. Do we have an Emerald? I think we have a card of him, but if we do not, 
I could see a Montrezl Harrell Sapphire. Or possibly a Jonathan Isaac. If you do not know about Jonathan Isaac's stat line, here it is. He went 13, 10, 5 assists, 4 steals, and 6 blocks. That is an insane stat line. He also went 22 and 8 with 1 steal. And he also, uh, he did kind of bad. He went 10, 3, and 2 um, against Indiana. But besides that, he has been stellar all season. He also went 13, 10 with 3 blocks. His defensive stats are crazy. I say he gets a Sapphire card. He deserves it. Um, there's a lot of really good players. Like, Sapphire cards are usually cards that are coming up. We could see a Dejuante a De Murray. He's doing good, too. He's doing decent. I could see an Emerald or a Sapphire. Um, 17, 8, and 10. That's his highlight game. And he also went 18, 11, and 4. So, those games are somewhat to be notable. I think he could get a card. Possibly an Emerald. And there's this guy... Um, there's a lot. There's a lot of cards to be added, man. A lot of interesting cards. Alec Burks could get a Sapphire card. Uh, he's on Golden State now. He's been playing really well, really freaking well. Thir he's dropped 28, 8, and 3 with two steals. He dropped 18, 9, and 1, and he's also dropped 23, 5, and 4. This guy, Alec Burks, he's back. If you guys remember when he was on the Jazz, he was always good. He's always hyped up. He never really played well. But it looks like with uh, Curry out, he's taking over roles of point shooting guard. And yo, Alec Burks has been a complete stud. It looks like he's literally ownable in all fantasy leagues too. Really good. Deserves a sapphire. Now what do we have? Like two emeralds left. There's a lot of... Now this is where it gets interesting, okay? Carter Jr. already got a card. We got Harris. Harris won't, can't get an emerald. Drew Holiday can't get an emerald. Uh, hmm, I don't know. Who could get an Emerald? Yo, uh, Marcus Morris? Maybe an Emerald? Maybe, uh, it's usually like a rookie or something. Or like, someone who's coming, uh, maybe a Luke Kennard on the, on the, on the Pistons, actually. He's been pretty good. 24, 4, and 5. 12, 9, 7. And we got 29, 6, and 5. So he's been pretty solid, too, for the Pistons. Could see an Emerald of him. And honestly, we got House on Houston's been pretty solid. 15, 9, and 1, 17, 6, and 1, 11, 5, and 1 with 6 steals and a block. Oh, interesting. Um, I don't know. There's a lot of pretty good cards. That dude's... Oh, no. We are definitely getting an Eric Paschal, okay? 100%. Um, 34 and 13. I'm pretty sure that was on his birthday. He also dropped 25. He also dropped 19. So, we could see something from him. He's been very, very well in the absence of some Warriors players. But yeah, honestly, that's really all I got in predictions. Other than that, um, could possibly see a Forbes. I don't know, man. There's a lot of interesting things to talk about. Um, I'm kind of hyped. I'm kind of hyped. Honestly, the most hyped card that I'm ready to see and I want to do the set for, I, they got to drop a Lillard. They have to drop the Lillard and a Butler. I'm sorry, they have to. And even Clint Capella. Those are the three mains and Vucevic, four mains, that I think are 100% going to get cards. You guys can disagree. If you guys know anybody else that are going to get cards, let me know in the comments down below. I really do think that these are pretty good predictions. I have all the stats on my phone right here over the last week. I have like all the the last weeks of what's going on with the players on fantasy. I'm going off fantasy. I'm not going off points though. I'm just going off stats, statistics. And honestly, the stats I just went over, they're pretty solid stats to look at. And it literally looks like these are very good predictions. Honestly, I used to do MLB predictions for roster updates, and they've been pretty solid. So you could take my word, put it in the back of your head. might be pretty accurate. But yeah, uh, can't see Giannis getting card. He's clearly the best player in the league, and I don't know. I can't see a card. We just got a diamond Giannis. So what do you guys think? I don't know, dude. Like, it's confusing. I don't know, man. So what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments what you think. Um, we're probably going to have the moments of the week content drop later. So we're going to post on that too. Um, right now, guys, market's still high. Cards have not dropped yet. So moments cards are probably dropping later tonight for sure. Packs will probably drop. Cards will probably go down a lot. So make sure you sell your team if you're watching this video. This is going to be posted around 12. This is pre-recorded. So yeah, predictions are done. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you take my word, like the video. Some of you are new for a chance of winning 40, 20,000 MT. Or you guys in the video, all that good stuff. Make sure you sell your cards. I hope you guys have a go on. Stay tuned for the next video. Drop the sub. Hope you guys have a go on. Peace.